um, another day, another vlog. This vlog is starting in the night today just because, you know, I'm with Jayu. You guys can see her at the back there. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and Francis, who is driving. And it's Saturday night and we're going out. This lighting is so crappy. Wait. Oh, it's even better. I was trying to use this light here to make my face look brighter, but I think it's better without. Anyways, um, yeah, it's Saturday night. We're going out to hang out. Today has really been a very, very crappy day for me. It's getting too dark again. Yeah, today has been a very, very busy, crappy day for me. I was just in a certain mood like all day, so this is going to go a long way in cheering me up and just yeah i mean yes to having a good time so yeah i just basically want to come out and start this vlog you guys have been liking my vlogs i mean i'm on a roll with vlogs here yeah. and i think i'm actually enjoying putting out a lot more vlogs because i feel like that's what you guys want to see the most so yeah to new vlogs and more vlogs hey. <laughs> I'm at the station. I finished buying food tank, filling some jerry cans just to have in case. But they are finished putting everything I bought in total was like 150 liters, thereabouts. Time to pay. My card is not working. Time to do transfer. My transfer is not working. Like I'm literally logged in here. And I think the bank people are having network issues. So I'm just literally packed here, waiting for one of them to go through. My husband tried to transfer to another bank for me so that I can pay with that card. The money has not even reflected till now. And it's been like 15 minutes. So I'm just sitting down here waiting. It's annoying. I mean, it's really annoying. And sometimes like these things happen later, you just start getting debit alert, debit alert. I have to start going to the bank and argue with them over the phone and all that stuff before they actually end up giving you back your money and they really do not have strength for all that bullshit right now so let's see how it goes Out. Wait, I'll be right back. See his face. Kaka, hey. you guys should see my partner for the day. Mwah. Hey, hey, to oh my god. <laughs> say hi, say hi. Say hi, say hi. Say hi. It's not working. It's not working, guys. It's not working. <laughs> he wants to climb the window. Let's see what he wants to do. Let's see. This part by his mouth first. Just look at this boy. So um, it's still Monday. I just finished sending out some orders, and right now I am in the car. Uh, my laptop charger. Look at my laptop charger here. You know, this is my laptop charger, and the mount. Let me show you guys the mount. It's dead. Literally, it stopped charging my laptop. Like. It stopped charging my laptop um, yesterday and like 
my life depends on my laptop is that serious no kidding like my life actually depends on my laptop i do a lot of work on my laptop that's why i watch my shows it's what keeps me busy keeps me company and keeps me entertained and i cannot survive without my laptop that's just it i have someone that usually repair my laptop for me because i've been using apple for such a long time maybe around like 10 years or more so this person has been repairing my laptop for me since then well i've never really had an issue i think i had one issue one time it was this person that repaired it but that was when i was living in abuja and he's in abuja right now and i've already messaged him you know i wanted to get a new charger or repair this one so he has told me the price i want to go and compare it here and see what the price is like here so if it's not making sense here because this place is a bit expensive if it's not making sense here then i'm just going to have to buy from abuja or send this one down for him to work on but we'll see i'm currently going to the apple um, what's it called? What are they called? A certified Apple retail store to see what they can do for me. Hopefully, I come back with good news. Found you when your heart was broke. I filled your cup until it overflowed. Took it so far to keep you close. I was a coming from school and you guys look at my charger i am so excited hey. right now Hi. i got to repair it. i actually got to repair it. we're no more hanging we're no more hanging i actually got it repaired oh my god i am so happy and to think the person actually repaired this charger for free literally for free like mind-blowing I traveled, Kelechi had to come and be seen my kids. Francis was like, you forgot to think he's an absentee father or something. But you guys, he had a training and he also had a wedding. So he went to Abuja and yeah, he goes to work every day by past six. We need him to go to work, okay? Because we need the money that comes from that job. So we don't need him staying at home doing nothing or just staying at home helping me out. I'm fine. So if you don't see him in my vlogs, just know that that's the reason. Are you happy now? Today is Kobe's last day of school. Um, they're having something in school, um, like a play, drama, you know, things like that. And yeah, we're here, they're doing it at an event center, you know, like a big hall. So we just got here. Francis didn't go to work today because of that. But you can see he's dressed for work. So from here, he's going straight to work. Let me show you guys how I'm wearing. This dress, this dress. Now, I don't forget, forgot this dress in my car, but now it's, it's mine. Hey, you guys, I've been losing so much weight. Look at my flat on me. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Extremely. Nazo, say hi. Say hi to my vlog. They are hearing you over the phone. Hi. <laughs> so, guys, 
look at the boy um today obviously you guys already know everything that happened i'm just leaving the event now and kobe did so well like i'm actually proud of him like his results i'm going to show you guys i forgot to show you guys he got um five b's and two c's he didn't get any a but i'm actually still very very proud of him and he actually got one d so five b's two c's and one d this is the first step in a new school and to me that's an amazing result like he did so well his average was 80 something over 100 which is like it's good he did well so i am very proud even though we did not get any a this time i am still very proud and i just want to take him and buy him ice cream and maybe a gift so somebody's coming up behind me so let me move out of the road i was talking in the middle of the road um yeah so i just want to take him and buy him like ice cream and a gift you know just to say good job kobe good job he's not even smiling after i started crying so he has been just moody since that time he's, I, we're probably going to go home and sleep and tomorrow i'll do the whole gift buying thing but i just wanted to come out here and tell you guys that we passed okay you guys i am just coming from kobe's school party and they gave us food mm? you people should look at meat that is inside food though just look at meat see my fine quiet baby that does not give me trouble see the other one he's throwing tantrum he's saying he wants to blend want to blend he wants to play with the blender that's why he's crying see the good boy here so guys um just a little chat here okay some of you that have been following my husband like following my channel more like know that my husband and i like our last baby we really desperately wanted a girl that's when i was pregnant for my second son kaito to the point that when we saw like in his scan that it was actually a boy we legit thought we we're having a girl for the first two weeks it was such a funny experience now it's funny then it wasn't funny anyways now that you know we obviously both want one more baby want one more child and I don't know when I'm going to be ready maybe next year maybe in two years I don't know yet because some of you already know that I did CS I'm going to try and insert a picture of what my incision looks like right now and it's just it's even forming keloid it's still a bit painful there's just a lot going on down there and I've not I don't think I'm physically ready to carry another pregnancy right now. Emotionally, I think I'm actually ready. I mean, you know, I already have two of them, so I've gotten a hand on how to handle them at this point. But physically, I don't think my body is ready. But that being said, anyways, we want one more baby and we hope this time around we're going to get the girl that we so desperately want but you guys i hear people say conceiving a girl is so easy and um, conceiving boys are so hard that's a lie like well at least in my own case it's so not true because you might you guys might not know this but like during kaito before we got pregnant for kaito when we had a discussion like okay we're ready to you know get pregnant if it happens now we're okay we were not trying to have a boy okay we were not trying to have a boy and kaito happened <laughs> that's funny i love kaito so much right now but like obviously at that point i was a little bit disappointed so now i hear that you know if you want to have a girl you have to have sex like a few days before your ovulation so that you know apparently the girl's sperm they they last longer whereas the boy wants die quicker well yeah that works for those it works for i don't think that works for me i've tried in the past okay and then um there are just so many other things i think the, what i want to try this time around is chinese calendar people swear by that chinese calendar so people say it works so well but i mean it doesn't hurt to try right it really doesn't hurt to try so if you guys know any way or anything someone can do to consider a girl please tell me i am desperate i considered ivf at some point it was that bad just after i had the procedure and all the things my body will have to go through i was just like it is not even it's not that serious i sh i'm blessed to be you know fertile i know a lot of women are going through infertility so i shouldn't bring upon myself issues that will not otherwise exists if i didn't bring it upon myself so that being said if you know anything i can do to conceive girl please tell me your girl your girl needs it like i said i'm not ready now it can be next year next two years but for when it happens you know i just want to be prepared you guys this is my last chance to get a girl i don't suppose it's your last chance you can have as many as you want no we want three we want to have as much as you can trade as much as 
you can give the best life i don't know when i'm going on summer holiday i'm just like okay everybody hundred hundred dollars or everybody did you know i want everybody to be able to enjoy to the fillet so we're just going to give it to the ones that we can Keep the best life if you get it so yeah that's just it you guys and i have sisters i have my first sister has three girls the other one has two girls they are also adorable but look at me having boys back to back and they both have boys too imagine anyways my time shall come shall yeah, where are my battalions why is he a dad hey sugar eat it you are always eating you're always eating. Look at your terrible face. You want to see yourself? Okay, see yourself. Look at your terrible face. You are always eating. Hey. Did this it. You guys just know that Kobe is having a swell time. Like Blender is legit his favorite toy. No kidding. Can you see what he's doing? He's putting all that toys inside, bringing it out. In fact, this is the best time of the day for him when I let him play with my blenders. Coco, say hi, people. Say, hi, people. You're eating from the blender. Mm -hmm. How are you? How are you? You don't want to answer me. You're eating from the blender. You can't eat from a blender, Coops. Are you full now? Are you happy? So oh, guys, <laughs> we're here to buy Kobe a gift. Kobe passed his exams. So we have come to shop for him. Coco, what do you want? You want Teddy? You already have Teddy in the house. If this is what you want, I'll buy you this so, and nothing else. He's obsessed with teddies. Are you sure you don't want this one? Look. Eh, hey, you choose one. He doesn't seem to want it. He's not even stretching his hand out for it. No, that one is too expensive. Mom is not buying it for 2000 Sorry. Nothing less than, nothing more than 10000 Huh? Yeah, can't you one, two, three? Yeah. You like you already have too much of it. So this is what we ended up picking. Some people said it teddy at first, but changed his mind last minute to this chalk that is ten thousand naira, and I'm not even understanding why. But I promised him a gift, so I'm going to buy it. And my budget was 10k, so perfect. And then I got this for, for Kaito. He's going to love it because it makes noise. It's colorful and they're about to press. Something extra for Kobe because I see this in his class and he likes to play with it, so I just bought it for him. And something extra for Kaito. Say hi. Kiss mommy. Kiss mommy. Ah, I'm going to return this gift now. You are doing that. So guys, it's Saturday night and we're just about to step out. I've not put on my wig. It's here. And I just wanted to come out here and officially end this vlog because I think that it's been going on for, you know, a long time now and I've gotten enough for this particular vlog. So we just want to come out here and say thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Tell them now. I'm subscribed. <laughs> yeah, we're going out now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.